Welcome to this GE Frame 5 Alignment Overview video. A gas turbine alignment is a type of machine train alignment because multiple couplings are being aligned. On a Frame 5, there is an accessory skid coupled to a turbine skid, and the turbine skid is coupled to a load gear to generator skid. With any machine train alignment, we want to take all of our readings first. This allows us to see the alignment as a whole and then work off of that. We will take the alignment readings in between the accessory skid and the turbine skid. We then take the alignment readings in between the turbine and the load gear to generator skid. Once we have these readings, we can examine the as found conditions of the alignment. At this point, we must also factor in the alignment targets. We should have a coupling alignment target for the accessory to turbine coupling, and also a target for the turbine to the load gear coupling. We will consider these targets in our alignment. We will combine them with our as found positions and determine where we will move each component. We want to move as little as possible. Generally, for this type of alignment, the turbine is going to be our fixed machine. Nine times out of 10, we will move the accessory skid to the turbine and then move the load gear to generator skid to the turbine. In order to make these moves, we will make our vertical moves by shimming the skids. In some cases, vertical moves are made by adjusting fixators. Once we make all our vertical moves, we will make horizontal moves. Our horizontal moves are made by simply pushing over the skids to the left and the right side in order to correct the horizontal alignment. Once these couplings are aligned, we will do our individual alignments on each skid while considering our alignment targets. The turbine now has nothing else that needs alignment. We're going to align our generator to our load gear on top of the load gear to generator skid. Once that alignment is finished, we will move over to our accessory skid and then line up our starting motor and the lube oil pump to the accessory gear. Once that's finished, our alignment is complete. We must always take a last set of readings after we've moved anything, so that we always end on a reading instead of a move. This concludes our GE Frame 5 Alignment Overview video. Thank you for watching.